Okay, I think that uh, this is what we're going to run with. Um, we took out the team or battle rage out of the side and replaced them with one Kozilek's return, one Colligan's command. And then we took the uh, hex drinkers out of the main and replaced them with Knight of the Ebon Legion. So we're going to give this a shot. We got we're on the play with a one land hand. But we have a bobble. I kind of want to risk this. It's pretty bad if we don't draw a land in the first two cards. Wug is a funny word for bant. I heard all the uh, shards and guilds and everything are getting renamed. Oh man, am I supposed to... Uh, it's... It's a one land hand, but it's really good if the bobble draws land. Uh, I'm going to mull it. I'm a coward. We keep this. Get rid of mountain. We're happy. All right, we want Stomping Ground first, so we can play the Swift Spear. All right. New set in three days. That is so soon. Pretty excited to uh, try and brew something Boros. Boros prowess. Huh. Okay. So this means we're playing against um, Bogles? No, this is probably like a, a Godhead deck, right? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Don't generally see steel of the godhead in modern. So maybe I should just naturally know what it is. Fatal push does kill the hierarch. But it means we can't play scourge this turn. I would like to play scourge this turn. Cancel that. Has lifelink and can't be blocked. So we, this doesn't give them hexproof. The creature has to has have, have hexproof. All right, let's play the scourge. Pass back. You can take the stop off the upkeep there. We don't need that anymore, and we can pass through the opponent's turn because we are tapped out. Agent iconic. Oh, give the Scourge lifelink? I mean, that wouldn't work. Think Stream Decker needs an update? Is that a problem with... Oh, I see what you mean, Lion Rose. Okay, um, I'll take care of that in between matches. So we'll just have to deal with that for... Uh, with that being wrong for this match. So I guess I just attack, play Scourge. Geist of St. Traft, yes! Thank you, Nostalgia. That's definitely what it is. No blocks, huh?
All right, you got a pair of seven sevens. Oh, but the mana leak, you jerk. Oh, that sucks. Now they have a lot of mana. They wanted this to come in untapped so they could have five. So I want to use the Fatal Push here because they brought this untapped so they wanted to have five mana. So I want to disrupt their plan. Sure. Lightning Bolt. Could take out one of their blockers. And then I get to see if they have Collected Company. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. So I want a Lightning Bolt pre-combat. So that I can see what their Coco comes into. Either that, or I should have kept the Lightning Bolt in hand to hit whatever they're Cocoing into. Ice Fang Coatl. Okay, but that doesn't have Death Touch. It does get pretty good with a steal, though, doesn't it? Gets, uh, can't be blocked in plus one, plus one. Oh, that's not that great. And they also have to block the Scourge. So we're putting up quite a bit of pressure here, and we can put Luris into hand. Okay. No mods in the chat. I guess I'll ban this dude. Okay. So they're playing counter magic along with creatures. Steel of the Godhead, which means Geist of St. Traft. Um, they are probably playing Collected Company in this list, but like Spell Pierce and Mana Leak, if they're playing Collected Company with counter spells, doesn't seem like it's going to be that great. Ooh, Bobble. Okay. I guess we can power up the Swift Spear a couple times so that we have uh, two, both of our attackers are lethal. What have you got on top of the deck, opponent? Oh, wow. They have Collected Company on top of the deck. It's a pretty good one. So I'm playing Lurus pre-combat so I can get the bobble out so that my Swiss Spear is a uh, lethal threat. Meaning they have to block both creatures. But they might just have Spell Queller here. Oh, no, it's a Cryptic Command. Counter Target Spell and Tap All Creatures. Okay. Was not really expecting that, but maybe I should have. So they're going to be focusing more on the counter magic. They're not going to have something like um, Collected Company. Not with this many counter spells. I'm wondering the same thing, Blind. So they drew Collected Company. 
Oh, okay, yeah, they still have the mana to cast it. I was just wondering, like, what? They didn't tap off it. The Team World Battle Rage is going to be pretty sweet here, though. As long as they let us attack. Odysseus, good morning. Thanks for joining us. We just started a second league, so plenty of magic content ahead. I know, it doesn't happen too often, but uh, it's a Friday, don't have to work tonight, first league was really short, and I think we can do a little bit better, and also we're, uh, we're testing out a couple new cards, so I was pretty happy, pretty eager to start the second league. Uh, the first one, we went 2-3, um, we ended up losing against, what was it, we lost against Tron, um... What else did we lose against? It was so long ago. <laughs> oh, I can be such an airhead sometimes. Yeah, it's so weird to play Collected Company and Cryptic Command. Hex Drinker is gas, but we ended up replacing it with Knight of the Ebon Legion. Some of our uh, viewers ended up telling me that someone tried switching the card previously, and it looked very good, and I was pretty excited to give it a shot. Yes, we're going to be updating that um, in between matches. I forgot to do it previously. Tron, Mardu, and something else. Thank you, Blind. That's right, the Mardu match was excellent. Really cool Mardu match. Okay, there's the Collective Company. Snapcaster Mage, we win. <laughs> Whatever. Don't care. You're dead. Ah, Veil of Summer is such a good card. Okay, so we got their game one. We know they're running a bunch of counter spells. Um, Kozlek's Return looks pretty good here too. So we got three cards in. Um, opponent's going to be emptying their hand super fast. Let's get rid of the two Inquisition of Kozlek. And we got it rid of one more card. <laughs> I could have battle raged the Swift Spear. Oh man, that would have been funny. <laughs> oh, thanks for that nostalgia. Going to get rid of one of the Fatal Push. We'll keep the Lightning Bolts because Lightning Bolts go face. But I'm thinking they're going to have like some Hexproof Dudes. I don't mind taking out one of the Push. I mean, I've played a lot of Death Shadow decks with uh, only three Push in the 75 anyway, so I think it should be fine.
Hey there, Jake. Um, this is actually our very first match playing the knight. We have not cast it um, in this deck yet. Some of the viewers were recommending it, so I figured I would give it a shot. So I guess you get to learn along with myself. This hand looks great, by the way. Swift Spear into Swift Spear Bobble. Maybe even get that uh, shadow out, depending on what we draw. Keep this. And then when we finish this match, I'll go over to Stream Decker and update the list. Makes sense. First turn Hierarch. Uh, yeah. We draw a land, so our plan is unchanged. I'm going to leave the bobble in hand so we can trigger Prowess twice. Really? You think so, Lion? Needs more peatlands. Oh, that's a problem. I thought it was, um... Hmm. Oh, I like the fatal push here. Give me a second. Oh, a player. Okay, so yeah, it works works with us too. Yeah, I know, right? Who even plays that? But we have Fatal Push for it, so we can Swift Spear, Bobble, Fatal Push, and it'll look pretty good. Uh, let's see here. We want the Overgrown Tomb... Yes. Swift Spear. Fatal Push. <laughs> what Rhino? I don't see a Rhino. And they are drawing a Flooded Grove. Okay. We're actually the bad guys? Yeah. That is uh, my lot in life. Unless I'm playing against Tron. And in that one case, then I'm the good guy. Usually I wear the black hat. <laughs> Jun can never be bad. Thanks. Glad you think so, Jake. Flooded Grove. Okay, that's the card we saw. So they have access to Cryptic Command or um, Collected Company. All right, let's rumble. No blocks, huh? You're just going to take the four? All right, uh, take four. We'll keep the fatal push up. And we have the Mishra's Bobble we, to still use fatal push next turn. Nice. Uh, let's see here. I think I just want another Blood Crypt. Your move, opponent. Oh, they're going to make a move. They had the cryptic command all along. Yeah, okay. You countered my spell. We don't have enough mana for the Lurus anymore, so I guess we just pass turn.
Who can say? And they got another land on top. Oh, they have a flooded strand, though, so they're probably not going to draw that. What do we get? TBR. Scary. Alright, uh, go to combat. These are all instants. We don't need to wait. Let's see what opponent does. One, two, three. So yeah, these things go up to four. So the uh, the trample comes into effect. Team Battle Rage here could be um, pretty good, depending on what the opponent has. Okay, they're letting us attack. Let's move in. They have a path. Okay. Um, so let's see here. The Teamer Battle Rage is lethal, but that's only if they have nothing. I'm just going to... Um, Fatal push this Hierarch here to get some extra damage in. See if they do anything. We have Dismember to kill another creature. Okay, they have Dispel. Um, yeah, let's Dismember. Keep on countering, keep on countering. Counter all my spells. Ooh, they don't have triple blue because they fetched up planes. Snapcaster Mage. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that's about the worst. And here we both are on no resources. Uh, yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we can actually get Lurus play Lurus next turn. I mean, this is sideboarded though, right? Womp. Take some damage. We're going down to three here. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about lightning bolts. Agent Iconic, thanks for the follow, friend. And we get a peatland. Okay, let's get Luris play Luris. And we can play Shadow? Okay. I don't know. We do play a lot of instants. It wasn't like something I would traditionally expect to see, but definitely worked out. Okay, that's... Uh... Let's move on to the next game. Good counter spells. Huh, they play a lot more counter magic than um, I really expected considering their collected company deck. Probably drop the companies. That's fair. Now 
we're going to go back in. Uh, this hand looks great. <laughs> this hand could really use a knight. You're right. Okay, so I think we just go ahead and start with um, the fetch. So we can go down five life. Death Shadow's almost ready to go. What do you got? Ooh, let's take that Hierarch. Now they have nothing. Turn two Tarmogoyf, let's go. Oh, come on. I mean, Thoughtseize glitch, right? What are you going to do? Yeah, I know. I would have never kept that hand, but when you draw when you draw like that, you can keep anything. All right, opponent has field of ruin up top. So, they're flooding out. Yeah, we should be in a very solid position. Veil vale doesn't stop on um, path to exile. But they're not drawing that this turn, and next turn we can play Shadow. Oh, and we can play Swift Spear next turn too? Alright, Colonnade, let's check that one off. Five cards, we know exactly what they have in hand. Oh, we get Thoughtseize, we can just take the Cryptic Command. What are you waiting for, opponent? I know exactly what's in your hand. Don't try and bluff me. Don't block, I dare you. Part of me dies every time I see Veil of Summer in action. Maybe we won't see it this time. Maybe we'll just keep it in hand and never play it. I mean, yeah, if you can play Cryptic Command for one mana, why wouldn't you? No blocks. Smack. There's the field. They have one card unknown. And they get rid of our green mana source. Yeah, right up until the control deck starts playing Veil vale of Summer. Then everything changes. GG. No, they want to play it out? Okay, we can keep playing. You can go to what, two? Oh, they have the path. The path was one of their unknowns. All right, we'll get our last basic. 
take six. Cooper playing Modern? That's right, Ekros. I play Modern um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. By the way, everyone in chat, if you didn't know this already, um, Ekros is another one of the, uh, the streamers here on Twitch. If you haven't already given them a follow, go ahead and do that. They're pretty excellent. Play a lot of Pioneer content if you're into that kind of thing. So all the days you don't stream. I, I kind of lucked into a really nice slot. There are very few Magic players playing when I do. <laughs> we don't even have lethal. We cannot cast the veils. Oh, that sucks. Nice. Sweet emotes. Opponents taking a little bit of time to make their decisions, um, which I don't blame them at all. I'm generally a fairly slow player myself. So I don't begrudge my opponents the time to make their decisions. Okay, so yeah, breeding pool here, so they do have one unknown card. Slow players unite, eventually. Okay, so that's the island. So they have two unknown cards. <laughs> it's not a proper stream if you don't finish with one, less than a minute on the clock. Well, we weren't able to get there because opponent conceded before we were able to run down our clock. Okay, here we go. Got some knights. We can play knight and then second turn play knight lightning bolt ourselves. And then we'll be able to trigger both the knights and play a shadow. No, we don't have enough mana to do that. That would be three mana on turn two. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I guess so. With the stores opening, everything would be spiking. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. This hand looks great. Oh no! Okay, well, let's see how these knights work. Oh, we get Battle Rage? Maybe we're fast enough. Maybe. I guess we don't need to Lightning Bolt ourselves. We could Lightning Bolt the opponent, and the Knight of the Ebon Legion does the last point of damage. So we want to go get um, Blood Crypt and play Knight. Pass turn. Yeah, and um, Yogg was really difficult to find for a while because everyone was scrambling to get four. So all of the websites were sold out. All of my local game shops were sold out. Um, I tried getting them from local people and they, uh, what's the word? Not ghosted, but um, reneged, which was unfortunate. Okay, second land is a forest. Let's uh, zone in on what's going on on the screen here. Tarmogoyf. So we fetch shock. Lightning bolt ourself. So that's six. We go to 11. We can play the shadow. And then we also have knight. But I'm wondering if it might be better to just to play the knight. So we play knight, attack with knight, lightning bolt them, then both of our knights go to two. I'm going to go with the knights because they just start to like whoop, 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 grow, 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 grow. 
We'll go get Overgrown Tomb. Play the Knight. Are you saying that Autumn was the first one to play Yogg at a major competition and win? I didn't know that. That's really cool. I thought it was, um, no, it was Aaron, Aaron Barich, right? Well, I, I didn't think it was Autumn, I thought it was Aaron. Go ahead. Okay, so they were really looking to draw some cards here. They're looking to do the same again. What do they got with this one green mana? A Sanctum of Ugin, that looks pretty good for us, except this here, which is going to be um, searching their library. No, it's a Walking Ballista for one. That's not very good, opponent. Yeah, opponent kept a bad hand. Oh, that's decent. Okay, so. Play land. Fatal Push, Ballista, play Shadow. Yeah, deal me a damage opponent. Yeah, I like it. Wonder if I should play the Shadow or the Tarmogoyf. Shadow's only a three right now. Let's play the Tarmogoyf. Yep, you're absolutely right. Nostalgia and Jake. Tron mulligans extremely well. There's no reason to keep a seven that doesn't guaranteed have Tron on turn three. If you don't have turn Tron on turn three and you're keeping your sevens. Play a different deck. Okay. Nice. Those knights were doing a bit of work. I like how they can grow without spending mana. That's pretty cool. I also like the two toughness. Okay, so. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got Colligan's Command, Rampage, uh, Damping Sphere, Assassin's Trophy. Take out Dismember. Oh yeah, the Unravel the Aether would be really good for the Worm Coil engines. Um, take out the Inquisitions, the Fatal Pushes. And maybe one of the Lightning Bolts. Well, that's something too, right? Um, everyone starts playing a deck as a beginner. So you have to learn these things. Um, while some of us have learned them through, you know, watching um, other people play. Sometimes people don't want to do that. Sometimes people just want to jump in and play the deck without really knowing too much about it.
But one thing that we can say for sure, opponent has a really cool name. This hand's a keep. I like it. The call against command is a little bit slow being on the draw, but we have Fetch Shock, Fetch Shock. Death Shadow is just a thought seize away. <laughs> just DM'd and heard the phone go off in the background. Yeah, I got that gain up a little bit high. Bing, 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 bing. Maybe I should turn off notifications when I'm streaming or something. No worries. You must play the deck to learn. Yes, it's very true. It's like getting good at poker watching it on TV. You can learn a little bit watching it on TV, but to really learn how to play poker, you gotta play. Alright, we'll go get the Blood Crypt and play the Knight. I think Knight's gonna be a little bit worse this time unless we draw a Lightning Bolt off the top or Thoughtseize. All right, Cole, um, if you wait till in between matches, I'll show you how to put the uh, the scoreboard up. It's not too difficult, but you just need to know um, the right things. Okay, knight. So we don't have any way to get the knight to trigger this turn. So I think Tarmogoyf is probably better. Yeah, it won't take too long there, Cole. So we should be able to uh, show you the basics about it in a minute, and you'll be able to do it yourself from there. Opponent is um, keeping some very suspect hands. Uh, let's just double check here. Yep, they began... Yep, they had a seven-card hand. No kidding, Aburakima. Super important. Um, I would say that your mulligan decisions in Tron is one of your most important decisions. And I guess we can just bobble right now. See what they're about to draw. They're going to draw a Worm Coil Engine. Okay, pass. Pass, 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 pass. Let's go. Thoughtseize. Nice. That's going to that's going to end it. Affinity Friendly Artifacts, you have a good point there, and I think that the combination of the two things is going to get you the fastest level of improvement. Um, you play the deck yourself, and you watch professionals play the deck, you're going to be able to improve much quicker than if you do either thing by itself. Jake, you, you and me, we're thinking the same thing. Okay, there's the Sylvan Scrying. That's about what I expected. They get the Power Plant. Play the Power Plant. And a Relic. Okay, Relic is uh, going to shrink the Tarmogoyf. So Tarmogoyf's not too good unless we call against Command the, uh, the Relic. If we do that, they could have Worm Coil next turn. I really want to use the Thoughtseize. So we're going to have to let the Relic... Uh, stay, unfortunately. So I think the best play is going to be 
uh, Swamp, Thought Seize, Knight, Death Shadow, Attack All. Two worm coil engines. Ooh. Okay, we, we got to take the Ugin then. Because the Ugin destroys us, whereas the worm coil engines probably kill us. And that also gets a uh, Planeswalker, which I think was the first one, so that should increase the Tarmogoyf. Opponent, opponent surely will rip tower. It's pretty much guaranteed. There's no way that the universe is going to punish them for keeping a... Uh... Oh, okay, they're going to target themselves so they can take out the Planeswalker and they only take four. Still enough to grow the knights. But yeah, there's no way the universe is going to punish the opponent for keeping a seven uh a seven that doesn't turn three tron they're just going to get it right here turn four nice line jake well if they had it they would have slammed it so they're thinking about what they're supposed to do. Um, if they're supposed to crack the relic now or go forest ancient stirrings. My my threat is threat density is super high right now, but the relic can actually stop the Tarmogoy from doing any damage. So yeah, they're gonna do the ancient stirrings thing, and I'm only gonna be able to hit them with the uh, the knights in the shadow because the relic here is going to nullify the Tarmogoy. The most epic of slow rolls. Ooh, okay. With the expedition map, they can't actually activate the relic. So our Tarmogoyf gets to come in for damage. And this grows our shadow. Coming in. Coming in hot. Four, eight, eleven. Not lethal. Eleven plus three. Still not lethal. Damn. I think we pump a knight so that we can just Colligan's command to kill them next turn. Okay, so yeah, now they can't use Expedition Map until their turn. They take significantly less damage. But our board is threatening. Okay, so they still have seven. Yep, yeah, after blocks. I mean, still had all these, right? Don't care what you block, I'm gonna kill your worm coil dead. Uh, let's see here, destroy an artifact. Yeah. Uh, 
We did win the Tron. It's a difficult to, thing to do with Jund, but I find that the Death Shadow version of Jund has a much better matchup versus Tron than the Boomer Jund does. Um, you're a much faster deck, so you're actually able to win on turn four, um, which means that if you're able to present any kind of disruption or if the opponent stumbles at all, you can still win. This hand looks great. I mean, as long as we don't need the interaction. If we're just applying pressure, this is a good hand. Let's keep it and see what we can do with it. We're going to be attacking for three with Swiss Spear on the first turn. We'll put down a Tarmogoyf on turn two and then look towards Death Shadow on turn three. Green-white auras? Sweet. The deck box? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, How's going the Ebon? Looking really strong so far. Really strong. Alright, we have to start with the Blood Crypt. Unless the Wooded Foothills wants to go get Stomping Grounds. I generally don't want to get Stomping Grounds with this. Alright, we're going to start with the Blood Crypt. I prefer to Fetch Shock, Fetch Shock. First two turns if possible, but... The Blood Crypt is just the better land and I want the Foothills for Overgrown Tomb. You know, that's actually a pretty interesting idea to uh, to play the bauble bef before the... Um, but then we wouldn't get the prowess trigger, right? I want to get these prowess triggers. And we're going to activate the baubles during the opponent's upkeep so that we don't expose these cards. So let's see what they have on top. They have a cryptic command. Okay, and what are you drawing next turn? Fatal Push. Okay. There's the Knight. Hmm. I think probably Tarmogoyf. Because we can't really get the Shadow down. So we could play the Peatland. Play the Tarmogoyf. And then next turn we can play Peatland Fetch. And we'll have the Knight of the Ebon Legion ready to go. Go ahead. And we can take these stops off. Okay, so we know about the Fatal Push incoming. And I know that I want to Fetch Shock. We have a bunch of green mana already, so we can just go get another Blood Crypt. Okay, and then I guess we just attack with these. Oh, shame we can't get the Shadow out this turn. Where's that Fatal Push? No Fatal Push. Ah, they were probably waiting for a Scourge. Yeah, you got it. Mana Leak my, my one drop. Ah, 13 life, I can't play the Shadow. Come on, deck. Next, next turn. Yeah, I think I definitely like the idea of more peatlands in a knight deck. Although if we wait till uh, Modern Horizons 2, we might actually be able to get the, uh, the black and red draw lands. Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt Zolt. Mark Puppy Boss, thanks for the follow, friend. Here comes that fatal push. Zap. Oh, 
I mean, if you want to go to one, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Um, so the question is, do we draw a card with the peat land or do we use it to lose a life? I'm going to use it to draw a card. Ooh, this is looking pretty good for us. If they drew cards, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so we're playing against Esper, which doesn't seem like a good matchup to me. Uh, we'll bring in Colligan's Command. We'll bring in Veil of Summer. I um, guess we'll take out Fatal Push. Not a huge fan of Teamer Battle Rage in this matchup. Should probably bring in Kroxa. Fairly satisfied with this. Yeah, I think we run like this. You think the rampage over the dismember? Yeah, I think you're right. Thanks. Echo Base, thanks for the follow, friend. The win cons are Five Fairy and Jace. So we probably want to bring in Rampage to kill their uh, Planeswalkers. Then again, we might want to just kill them fast because Rampage is going to be a dead card in hand until those Planeswalkers get out. So I think it's probably worse than everything we have in the deck. We're going to submit like this and hope that uh, we're right. Maybe it would be better than the Fatal Push. No, we've already... Uh... Yeah, if they set up the Planeswalker, we're probably already lost. This hand looks okay. We're going to keep. Huh. Knight of the Ebon Legion again. I think we still go for the Swift Spear first. But this is actually pretty close. Because I could play Knight and then Tarmogoyf. Yeah, and Swift Spear is just going to be a better play later when I have something to do as well, or I can just attack with it. I'm going to put down the Knight first. So who's ready for Knight to Spike? It's going to be $5 by this weekend. Ooh, okay. That's a trade. I'm fine with that. And then next turn we have Swiss Spear into Scourge. Or we could Swift Spear into Kroxa. Okay, they're missing lands. All right, um, I think I'm going to... Do we Scourge or Kroxa here? I'm thinking Kroxa because they probably have Counterspell.
Bye bye, cryptic command. Huh. It's our turn again. It looks that way. But sometimes you can hit the wrong button and... Um, what's the name? You just skip your turn by mistake. It's happened to me. <laughs> How propaganda said, opponent, I want to play, not just win. Okay, so we got a one land hand here. We're on the play, but we have a bauble. So we could go land, inquisition, bauble, draw two cards. Shuffle your cards when you're waiting on Moto. Do you have a special shuffling deck or do you just shuffle a random deck that you have already? Thanks, friend. You shuffle a little bit too much, though, and uh, it can do damage to your wrists. Um, I really don't want to keep this. I'm going to be a coward in Mulligan. So we can get turn two Tarmogoyf out. Tarmogoyf doesn't die to Lightning Bolt. No, it does die to Lightning Bolt because we don't have a fetch. We still got to keep it, though. Get rid of Stomping Ground, and we have all of our colors. I think Stomping Ground is going to be better than Mountain. So we'll just get rid of Mountain. Oh, sweet. Just whatever you got next to you. I'm going to make a tiny Tarmogoyf. Oh, but the Thought Seize? Where were you last turn, Thought Seize? Alright, I'm going to Thought Seize this turn, and we'll put the Tarmogoyf down next turn. Ooh, look at that hand. Double Dryad and Azusa. I guess we just take the Pact. Well, that's pretty cool that uh, you got some popper appreciation going on, Blind. Um... I'm kind of wondering if we just throw the bolt at them. I think we do, in case we uh, get an opportunity later to play a um, Scourge. All right, which one coming out? You put out Azusa first, get more land drops, try and be greedy. Give me an opportunity. I will lightning bolt that Azusa so fast. No, no luck. There's the Scourge. So if they block here, I'm going to Lightning Bolt the Dryad so it dies. We don't need to do that now. We can wait.
Although in hindsight, um, lightning bolt the lightning bolting the opponent might have been better to increase the size of the scourge. But I guess we could battle rage the Tarmogoyf, and then the scourge would grow for the second hit. Let's see what happens here. They have enough mana to play Azusa. I haven't been keeping track of their hand, but let's see here. These are definitely gone. Let's just get rid of everything here. They have one card in hand. TBR will help. We don't have Artifact yet, so this will grow the Tarmogoyf. Let's see what they have on top. They have Windswept Heath. Not much help there for them. All right, let's swing in. Just a block like that. Okay, so if we give the Tarmogoyf double strike, it hits in for four, putting them to 12, which gets the Scourge up to a seven. And then we have seven plus six, which is 13. So I think that's lethal. And on the Tarmogoyf. Nice. Yeah, tapping that peatland got an extra point of damage in. Not that we needed it. Cool. Okay, what do we got? So we got Damping Sphere. We have... Trophy. We have Rampage. I mean, Unravel the Aether does hit some of their good cards as well. Um, it hits the Dryad and it hits the um, Amulet. So maybe we bring in Unravel as well. I like the Dismember. The Lightning Bolts are so-so. Uh, same with the Inquisitions and the Fatal Push. Fatal Push I think is actually kind of bad in this matchup. Uh, we got, I don't know, as long as we have a fetch land out or the Mishra's Bobble, the Fatal Push does hit most of the things we're looking to hit. Maybe the Rampage isn't what we're after. Yep. Yep, that's a keep. Keep a Rooney. First turn, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Second turn, Thoughtseize. Pump the Knight. Ooh. That would have been the reason to play the Thought Seas on turn one. Wow, that's really strong. I kind of wish we had cast the Thought Seas turn one. Well, we're casting it turn two. Let's see what we hit.
Ugh, double Summoner's Pact. Take Summoner's Pact. One, two. Okay, so they have one, two. What what land do they have? A breeding Pool. So they don't have it yet. But they are so close with this castle. This is terrifying. Alright, so what do we do here? We cannot Death Shadow yet. We do have access to Fatal Push. So we could push the Grazer and attack. Get a little bit of damage in. And grow our Knight at the same time. Seems fairly easy to grow this knight in this deck. And it would be even easier if we built the deck with this interaction in mind. Okay, so Teleria West Pass. Oh yes, that is such a good draw. Totally turns this... Makes it into a green mana, that's it. Don't have to uh, worry about the the extra mana from that. Super cool. And we get to play a, um, a Death Shadow at the same time. Although we'll, we will have to play the Death Shadow first. Okay, let's go get red mana. Attack with Knight. Oh, they're going to block, okay. Play the Shadow first. Remember, if you're ever playing Damping Sphere, that's the last spell that you want to play during your own turn. If I had cast the Damping Sphere first, Death Shadow would not have been able to be cast. And once again, Nurturing Peatland and Fetch Shock, 4 damage, so we were able to get the, uh, the Knight going. So they go get prime time. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, yeah, this this makes a lot of sense. So they're going to be able to tap the mana this turn for the Summoner's Pact, and then next turn they're going to be ready to go with prime time. Okay, so get rid of the Summoner's Pact there. They should be playing Breeding Pool tapped this turn. And now it's our turn. Tarmogoyf. Alright, I guess we just attack, play Scourge Pass. Um, we might actually play Scourge first, because we have this Peatland here, so we can grow the Shadow that way. Take seven. And grow the knight again. This knight has grown what? Almost every turn? Every turn. It's grown every turn. It's been in play except for the first turn. Okay, Crumbling Vestige does get them the mana that they were required to put the Titan into play. So they do have a Titan that's coming into play this turn. So we just got to sit back and find out what the damage is. Let's see here, that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, one off lethal if we uh, lose the Scourge. When nature calls, run. Bounce Land Fountain. I was thinking Vesuva Fountain. But they went for, oh, they went for Vesuva for the Colony Garden and a Simic Growth Chamber to return Colony Garden.
They return to um, Telerio West. That makes sense. Oh, we get Dismember. Okay. So we Dismember the plant. They only have the prime time as a blocker. We attack with everything. They have to block the Scourge. And then we just hit them for eight. And they have nothing. We could dismember and play Scourge as backup if we don't mind going down in life total here. No, we can't because of Damping Sphere. We can only play one spell. Okay. So I think we just dismember the plant and attack. They are forced to block the Scourge, and then they take eight. Uh, nine, actually. I forgot about the Death Shadow Grows. Mmm. I think that you're right. Because of the Damping Sphere, they probably thought they could make mana. We saw a colorless mana show up in the corner here uh, from the Simic Growth Chamber. So yeah, they probably thought they could use the Simic Growth Chamber in the Breeding Pool to transmute the Talaria West. Damn it. You're right, Gizlo. You're right. That is a punt. Uh, Gizlo, go ahead and put exclamation mark punt in the chat. I might not be punished, but we'll see. Yeah, um, it would have been lethal. And, you know, if we'd spent a little bit more time thinking about it, we the game would already be over and we wouldn't have to um we wouldn't have to worry oh thanks blind Okay, not punished. Whew. Not a good hand. Not a good hand. Um, I think we mull this. Ah, that's better. Oh, I like this hand a lot. Got red mana. Yep, we'll keep this. Uh, we got to get rid of one card. I'm leaning towards Dismember, although it is our only piece of removal. Um, I kind of like... Uh, then again, like the Thought Seize is really awkward here. We're going to want to go Swiss Spear into Tarmogoyf. It's going to take a while to even cast the Thought Seize. So maybe we'll keep the Dismember. We'll ditch the Thought Seize. Basic Plains, Aether Vial. Who plays Basic Plains, Aether Vial? Spirits. Death and Taxes. It's probably Death and Taxes. Oh, uh, no, Hammer Time doesn't do that. What do they got on top? Ephemerate on top. Okay. So they're playing the... Um, Soul Herder deck. Nice. Fatal Push. Yeah, the removal spells are going to be super good here, I think. With Ephemerate? Maybe with, like, Plains Aether Vial, but I don't think Humans plays Ephemerate. We've seen this on top with the, uh, the Mishra's Bauble. Oh, Thoughtseize, huh? Well, I kind of want to get the Tarmogoyf down, so maybe we just play Tarmogoyf Pass.
Okay, just pass back. Uh, another removal spell. Unfortunately, they do have Ephemerate ready, so let's use the Thought Seize here and pull it out of their hand. Okay, they're going to play something. Nope, thinking better of it. Prowess Trigger resolves, and Thought Seize resolves. Okay, so we can get rid of the Skyclave Apparition here, so we can keep our creatures safe. block there that's fine take four we don't want to give them something to uh just like free use your ephemerate on we'll just hold up this mana so that they cannot cast ephemerate soul cat okay so we have to fight another one of spike's decks I'm just seeing the uh, the score now on the MTG bot. This is the uh, looks like their first match of the league. Oh no. Main deck champion? That is rough. Four main deck champion. Ouch. kind of want to put Luris in hand, but then we remove some of our, uh, then we're off removal spells, and we won't be able to respond to the Guardian Ephemerate stuff. Let's pass. And I'm just going to leave this over here so I don't forget about it. I tell you. Ahsoka is not the Jedi I wanted to see today. Ooh, that's neat. Okay, so we dismember that. Or do we fatal push it? Probably fatal push it. There's the ephemerate. Okay. Dismember it. Okay, that's gone. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the choice to play Scourge. I think we just play Scourge. They only have one card in hand, one card coming. Um, we could potentially lose the game by doing this. 
but I like keeping up the pressure here. Our other option is to straight up kill the Guardian, which I'm pretty sure would have worked. Oh, they play another Felidar or the copy creature land. There's a copy creature land. I figured they were using the um, the planeswalker. I didn't realize how many um, how many ways they had to kill us here. But I guess sometimes ignorance just works out. Um, I guess we dismember the guardian, right? Because if they had anything, they would have done it when I was tapped out. Okay, so do we get Luris here and go to three? Luris isn't going to be too much help, honestly. Let's pass. Scoop him up, opponent. Give me game one. Oh, that's the copy land. Yep. Yeah. So they have two blocks now, but they have to block Tarmogoyf and Scourge, so Swift Spear gets through, and one of their creatures dies, unless they have something good in hand. Oh, if only we had done that last turn. <sighs> Rough. Oh. There you go. That makes more sense. has two cards in hand, a bunch of mana, but we have the pressure. Whatever you do, don't stop applying pressure. Nice. Beat Oriok Champion. Game one without return. Okay. Um, does anyone have a copy of the list? that they could throw up um, into my whisper really quick. If anyone has the list, go ahead and send me a whisper.
Sorry about that, Cole. Um, just send me a whisper, bud. Thank you. Okay, we still got a little bit over two minutes here. So they have Oust, another champ, rest in peace, interesting, okay. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. It was on the screen here, briefly. Post-sideboard will be rough. Pretty glad that we got that first one. Got to take these things out, but I don't know what needs to go. Got six cars I got to take out. Oh, we're almost out of time. Damn it, what do I take out? I'm going to take out um, some number of Scourge because they gain life. And... Oh man, we're almost out of time. Damn it. That's not exactly how I wanted to sideboard, but um, that's what we get for taking a look at the list instead of thinking about our sideboard options. Uh, we're going to keep this. We got Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Rampage. We can do a lot of work with this. And we can get that Shadow out fairly quick. Okay, we got Rampage to get rid of that vial. Let's start with turn one Thoughtseize. Oh, what did we draw? We drew a Swamp. Uh, I'm going to want to fetch Shock here so we can get that Death Shadow out right quick. So we'll go get... We have green mana here. I think we'll just go get another Blood Crypt. Uh, we take the Champ. Easy get there. Let's get that champ out of here. No more champ for you. Oh, wow. Did they uh, mulligan heavily here or what? Okay, they only mulligan to six, but because they were on the play and they have the Aether Vial, um, their hand is small. They have a very strong mid-range plan, similar to... Um, the Heliod decks, I guess. And yeah, it would have a very strong mid-range options. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe I just play the Tarmogoyf here. So I can start applying pressure. Remember what I said earlier, never stop applying pressure. Blind, that is, uh, who really? You would give the first turn to me. That is so dangerous. I would have been able to thought seize away the Aether Vial. Although it would have been a little while before I would have um, been able to cast my Tarmogoyf. Matchup is about the grind. St. Elmo, they have infinite life too. Yeah, we were talking about that with the Oriok Champion and the double Felidar Guardians. Okay, so we can get the Shadow down now. We probably have to Rampage so that we can clear this creature out of the way. 
So we'll just get rid of the Aether Vial, maybe? Or the creature itself? We could push it, but that is bad against um, Ephemerate if they have it. Target player sacrifices a creature. Um, yep, black, red. Okay. Go ahead, opponent. Okay, so they got the fourth land. They're ready to go with Guardian now. Ooh, but we get Lightning Bolt. We could bolt ourselves and do a lot of damage. But then we wouldn't have Fatal Push ready for the Guardian. I think I'll just play the Overgrown Tomb here, yes. Um, probably, let's see here, that's 7, this would be 10, almost there. We'll uh, hold up Lightning Bolt and we'll uh, get the Lurus into hand. And that really depends on what they do here too, right? Like they could use Aether Vial to do something. So far it looks like they just have nothing. Um, let's get the Lurus into hand and hold up our two spells. Oh, yep, but we're going to be able to respond, Let's see here, we could actually do this now, I don't think that's good, let's uh, try and get them with the Felidar Guardian, so they uh, try to draw the card and we just kill it, or try and blink it. Oops, uh, cancel that. I want to use the Fatal Push. So we have the Lightning Bolt for face. All right, hit the six button. Good game. Close one, that one. Okay, we got a little bit more time now to figure out how we want to do this. I mean, the Scourges seem fine. The Teamer Battle Rage seems fine. They don't have as many removal spells as I had uh, originally thought. Let's take the Trophy out. We've got a ton of good removal spells. Oh, for the um, champion. Cause lets return kills the champ.
I have a very healthy respect for Ahsoka. Oh, okay, we're going to have to uh, wait a little bit. Our opponent uh, DC'd. I'm sure they'll be returned in a minute. Can you feel it, chat? Are you hyped yet? The Antissa... Patient. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yep. Last game of the match. Last game of the league. Last game of the stream. All the marbles comes down to this. Good enough. First turn, Pete land in tonight. Second land, second turn, uh, fetch shock thought sees. Definitely helps a little bit. Oh, they have the turn one Aether Vial every game so far. All right, let's see what we get. Nice. We got a Scourge. We could actually, um, if we don't want a Thought Seize, we could fetch Shock, attack, play a 2-2 two -two Scourge. This is bad if they have Champion. Champion here is so bad. No champ. Probably just take the apparition here. Fortunately, I did not make the mistake of um, not losing enough life for the knight. So let's see here. That's the Flooded Strand. That's the land they had. So they have one unknown. And if they play a creature, they cannot ephemerate it. So we can just push this. I wanted to get in with that knight. We got to keep the pressure on. Uh, hold on. Well, I don't think we're going to be casting a scourge with kicker today. Not that it was ever a very likely thing to happen. Ah, oh, the Wall of Omens is gone. So we only know about Watcher and Ephemerate.
Oh, they got another wall. Okay. And they can ephemerate it. Ooh, and they can play the Watcher for tomorrow. Okay, so they've got some play here. Oh, yes! They only have Ephemerate, I think. If they don't have Path, they're dead. Ousts. So, do you think they have the oust? They probably would have blocked the scourge if they didn't, right? Because they would block the scourge and ephemerate. Isn't oust so oust is sorcery? Thanks, chat. Awesome. All right, let's try the TBR. Oh my god, it's an 11-11. Trophy! Devin Connolly with the timing. Thanks for the follow, friend. Easy 5-0. Oh, man. Does anyone else have goosebumps? Because I've got goosebumps. Iburakima, pay the yes. Congratulations, everybody, that uh, won some channel points. Whew, that feels nice. How about that? That's going to make a much better YouTube video, I think, rather than the 2-3 uh, the we got the first time. <laughs> Clip that audio. For the trophy! Oh, pretty pumped about that. Whew. Thanks everybody for uh, watching, and uh, big thanks to everybody that suggested the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Um, Knight of the Ebon Legion, I gotta say, was absolutely incredible this league. Um, first off, having the two toughness. And then secondly, you don't have to spend mana to pump it. So with the um, with the snake, um, hex drinker, that's it. You have to spend quite a bit of mana. You have to invest quite a bit in order to start pumping it. And if they, you know, like okay, they just wait until you tap that third mana and then lava dart your snake, you feel like a fool. So, um, yeah, I think Knight of the Ebon Legion is going to be the new card for this deck. You all saw it here. Super cool. Um, final thoughts about the deck. So, here's what I'm thinking. Um, the Monastery Swift Spear, I think, is actually a fairly necessary piece to this deck. We took it out when we were running the Hex Drinker previously, and I think that that was wrong. I think Swift Spear is a, um, a must with the Scourge in order to be able to put pressure on, and in order to be able to potentially play a turn 2 Scourge. Now the Knight, Iburakima. The Knight performed well indeed. Um, like I was saying before, this is only five matches, one single league, and we can't actually decide if the card is good or not based on that. However, this is a large plus in the Knight's uh, pro column, in the, uh, the column of this card belongs in this deck. 
So I would like to test more with the knight, and I would like to see more people playing with it so that we can get more data. Um, yeah. Now, as far as the sideboard goes, the, the deck that I was playing before had two teamer battle rages in the sideboard, and I wasn't a huge fan of that, and a lot of people in chat weren't a huge fan of that either, so we changed them out with Colligan's Command and Kozlex Return. Now, while these cards didn't get too much action during the league, the Colligan's Command did come in handy once, and these cards are just really, really solid in this kind of list. When I'm playing um, Rakdos or Jundes Shadow, I always want Kozilek's Return. Um, with the Knight, it's a little bit awkward, but not as awkward as it would have been with the Hex Drinker. Um, Onion Lotus, I think that you're right. We need a little bit of Graveyard in Hate in here. Um, I was talking about the card earlier today, Soul Guide Lantern. So we should probably have two of those in the sideboard at least, if not three. But then we have to start cutting out other options. The Unravel the Aether we didn't get too much play with, but we weren't looking at facing against very many enchantments. So generally Rampage and Assassin's Trophy we're doing, and um, Colligan's Command, sorry, we're doing the same kind of thing. So maybe Unravel the Aether can go as well. I do like the card, but we didn't really get much use out of it this league. So I think that um, as far as the deck goes, the, uh, the main 60, I would want to take out the Stomping Ground and put in a third Peatland. And I think that would be the only change I would actually make to the main. 